Good morning, guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're not, welcome back. So I just got out of bed. It's going to be 1230. I've been away since 10, but I was making some phone calls to some places I have to get some stuff. I, I got to get resolved. I'm going to go to the store right now and buy some things I need. I have a mess. Literally. Uh, I'm gonna come back and clean that later, but for now, I'm gonna go to the store. I'm just gonna wash my teeth and my face. And Okay, so I'm pretty much done washing my face and my teeth. I'm gonna put on some lotion, grab my keys and go. And hopefully this is, doesn't take long because I do live like in a big city, but getting to places takes pretty long. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys. I have a bunch of lotions. I bought some at Bath and Body Works. They were on sale and I got so many and I was like so excited. Like I, I have this tendency of collecting things even though sometimes I don't need them, like now my thing is to collect the lotions. I don't know. Every time I go out, hold on, I'm trying to start the car. Every time I go out, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Like, I don't know what it is. Every time, like, wherever I go, even if I get off at a store or something, I feel like I forgot something. I have my phone, I have the keys, the mask, the money. I don't think I'm forgetting nothing but I, live, I feel like I do these trips take me really long and it's like I live in a town where there's I mean we have all the, the big stores here but the, sometimes there's so much traffic that a quick trip would be I don't know somewhere around 30 to 35 minutes if not longer dang this water's cold it's freaking cool. Do you see that? And it was in the car. I didn't even have it in the fridge. It's really cold. I have a list of everything I need to do, and it it it, it hurts my brain, honestly. Um, the main my main focus right now is finishing school. I have so many assignments that I've like backed up on. I have about probably like 11 from like 8 to 12 missed assignments that I got to get turned in this week. So it's a lot. Um, I feel this is my last semester in school before I receive my bachelor's degree. But I feel like I've, I've always been like a school person. I love school and... I just like that responsibility of having things to do and getting them done. But I don't know what it is. Ever since I came into CSU Chico, like it 
I don't know, I lost like that spark. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I've been like procrastinating so badly that my grades, I've never ever like received an F and ever since I started like the university, my university years, I've received like five Fs and I have had to drop classes twice. So that doesn't look good on a transcript and I don't know what's going on, but I don't know if, it, if it's because this is my last semester, but I've been procrastinating so bad. And I'm surprised I'm actually passing my classes. So I'm ready to just like get this over with. But I actually signed up for one more semester and I don't really need to because I'm pretty much done with everything, all my requirements. And I should be graduating May 2021. So that's like five months away, probably six. Yeah, like six months away. And I just decided to sign up for another semester of school, so I don't know why I do this to myself. Um, so that's one of my main focuses, school, getting my stuff done. And also, there's another thing that's like, it's major, it's it's i wouldn't i mean it's big to me it's like a huge accomplishment that i want to like accomplish but i'm not just i'm not ready to speak on it so all i can say is i know people are not going to care obviously they're not going to care but it's i mean when i let you guys know when you guys when i really when i finally decide to speak on it and actually talk about it so that people can know what it is i feel like a lot of people are going to be surprised because they they really don't they they're not going to expect especially for me and i'm so excited so there's two focuses i have right now my main focuses and they're like stressing the they're stressing me really bad and all i can say is that my career consists of being physically active and it's tough so that's all I can say but I'm gonna get through it I'm gonna make it happen and once I do I'm gonna obviously people are gonna have to know they're gonna find out because that's what's gonna what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life and I'm just I'm so excited I can't wait till the day I finally get to speak on it and Maybe some people already know. I know they do. I've spoke about this um, to some people, the closest people around me, but I'm excited. I've had meetings for this. I actually had one yesterday and it was like kind of frustrating because there's so many things I got to get done and so many tests I need to pass. For example, I do have two tests coming up on February and I need to get through them because it's like a process so it's like the hiring process so I'm trying to stay focused and motivated since I don't want to lose my focus that's what I'm what I really want in life so I'm gonna do what I gotta do to get there and I just don't want to be around negative people so I'm always alone and that's how I like it I used to always complain because I was away from home but now I'm just I don't really care because I realized that there's nothing to do back at home. Everybody is. It's just negativity, problems, all these things. And I just don't want to feed off negative energy, which happens to me a lot. I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but every time I'm, I'm around like negative people or negative anything bad going on if, and people speak on it, I just I feel the energy and it gets to me and I hate it because I come home so depressed and it affects me the rest of that week until I finally like snap out of it and realize that it's not my problem. But it gets to me and I, I'm trying to deal with that in a positive way. Just listen to people's whatever they're going through and just ignore it since it's not really my problem. But it's kind of hard when it's close people to you. So I don't know. I just I don't want to be around that kind of negativity just yet. 
I mean, if I have to deal with it later on, I will and I'll be able to help people. But right now, honestly, I can't. If I live again to me, then we're all just going to be miserable. So, yeah. So I just got back from Target and they have a lot of cool stuff in there. Um, so I bought several things. Well, not that many, but just a few. And I was only planning to make like Christmas boxes for my sisters. But I think I'm going to do the same for their kids, except for one of my nephews, because he's already like 14, 15. He's pretty um, big, so I don't think he's going to want like a Christmas box, gift box, I don't know. I think I'm going to get him something else, but everything I got was $1, so I was like really impressed, because like it's Target, and Target's pretty expensive. I don't know, I don't really shop at Target, so I was like kind of like impressed. But anyway, I got this like a coloring book thing with like little stickers and this is for one of my nieces i think i'm gonna give this to ariana um so one of my nieces is six years old six or seven and then the other one's about to be five so they they fight for like their stuff and i don't like it but i try to get them like similar things so that they don't fight for their for you know for for toys and stuff so i got this i'm gonna give this one to genesis pretty much the same as this one but they kind of have like a different i don't know they're similar same character but look a little bit slightly different so it's the same thing it, it has the little stickers and a little coloring book and also the crayons oh my i feel like my face is so greasy and hold on. so then for my youngest nephew he just turned four and he loves Spider-Man, so he's like really excited about that. I don't know, he loves Spider-Man, so I was like, every time I see things uh, with Sp Spider-Man on them, I automatically think of him. So it's like, for him, it's a little bit easier because he's a boy and he doesn't really fight with the rest of the kids. So it's like really easy, but yeah, I got him this one and he also has stickers and the little colors, crayons and um, coloring book. And then I also got these um, gift tag gift tag stickers. I already had some, but I lost them. I don't know what happened to them. I had like a whole bunch from last last year. And I also had a wrapping paper, but I don't know what happened to it. So I got this and it kind of matched like uh, the wrapping paper that I got. So we did I put that. So this is the wrapping paper that I got. It's pretty cool. It's gray with just like white snowflakes. So it pretty much matches the the stickers, the tags, like the color. It kind of matches. So I'm excited about that. And then I'm also gonna when I wrap their gifts, um, I'm gonna add ribbon to it. I love using ribbon for everything, even for my hair. Sometimes, like when I was younger, I used to do my hair and I used to use ribbons. Uh, so I don't really like bows, so I'm more of a ribbon type of girl, so I'm going to use ribbons for my gifts as well, and I'll show you guys that and how I do it as well. And then I also got them, I try to keep it very simple, but also really cute for the kids, because I don't want to buy them things that they're not going to need. Uh, I always, like, they love me because I feel like they, I don't know, they do what they want with me, but... I don't really mind they're my nephews and nieces so I, I love them but usually like I get them toys and I feel like they have too many at this point so I don't want to keep buying them toys because it's like it's stuff that they're not I mean they get excited for it at the moment but then they don't really use them for like stuff it's not things that they really need so I try to keep it um like there for this year I'm gonna get them things that they need but also make it fit for them so it won't be like boring um I don't know if that makes any sense but So, I also got them hand sanitizers. So, this one's going to be for Jason. It's blue. I'm sure he's going to like it. I don't know if he likes Mickey Mouse, but I'm sure he's going to like this. And hopefully, he carries it around so that he can use it. Because I feel like little kids normally are very... They're, they're really, like, distracted. I'm sorry. <clears throat> they don't really use hand sanitizers, so... 
that's kind of why they get sick sometimes i don't know i just feel it's weird that they don't really wash their hands even though you ask them to their little kids they don't really worry about that but hopefully this encourages them to keep their hands sanitized so this is probably gonna be for Adela, my six year old niece and then this one's for genesis so i know she's gonna like this she likes pink a lot and then for the girls i got them the hair ties i thought it was a pony when i saw it maybe the ones that i that's weird okay so i guess it's like little cat i don't know but they have like little um hair ties on here so it's mostly pink and i was initially gonna get them like each a different color but because they fight for everything i got them the same color because I don't want them to be fighting for their stuff or um tell me like later tell me that they want they wanted a pink or whatever you know like they just they're gonna get the same color so they can't complain and yeah hopefully they like these these are things that they can use and also for their moms because i feel like as moms you want your kids to be happy but then also getting them too many toys it's like you don't really need them and then your house is like crowded with toys so yeah i'm kind of making it fun for them and also helping out their moms so their moms won't be so overwhelmed with so many toys and then uh oh, by the way i'm outside of target's parking lot so there's like people walking around just sitting there anyway so i'm also making the Christmas boxes for my sisters and for them I do have some stuff that are also going to be helpful for them not helpful but um useful and I don't really have a theme so I'm just actually I do have a theme I think I said this earlier it's like a cozy type of vibe um not really like a color uh scheme just anything in particular just you know cozy so for them I got the I got them these cozy socks and they were one dollar so everything that i'm showing you guys right now was one dollar at target and i'll tell you guys how much i spent right now so this is oh i got them the same so i got them the same color as well they don't really care what color they get but i just wanted to make it simple for myself as well and then i also forgot to mention i did get my nieces and nephews the cozy socks as well so this is probably gonna be for so I'm going to give gift these to Ariela. I feel like these are a little bit bigger because these, I'm giving these to Genesis and I feel like these are pretty small, a little bit smaller. So I'm gifting her these. I'm putting those in her box. And then for Jason, I got him these blue ones. And I know he's going to like them. He loves them. So then I got myself some uh, fluffy cozy socks and I got them black. I don't I'm not making myself any Christmas boxes this year because like it's use, useless but I am buying myself um things for Christmas of course just that I'm making them more about my sisters and my nephews and nieces but yeah I got myself some socks too and I'm excited to wear these and they were also one dollar so in total I spent 16 17 26 plus tax so you guys can probably see right there. I don't know if you could see if this would focus. Yeah, so 1726. It was really cheap, honestly. And I I'm gonna buy them a few other stuff. I just don't know what yet, just yet. So I I don't know, I'll see what else I get them, but for now this is what I've got them so far and I'm really excited. Usually I wait till the last minute to get my, my nieces and nephews like their stuff. And my sisters like Christmas shopping. I always do it like last minute, but I don't even want to do that. Like I don't want to be worried or like stressed because we are taking a family trip to a cabin. Um I'm not sure where yet. I, I didn't ask, but I, I, I know it's booked and that's gonna be obviously in December. And it's from the 23rd to the 25th or the 26th. I'm not sure. So I don't want to be stressed out. I want to have my things ready and then just, you know, have my Christmas shopping ready for Christmas. So, yeah, I'm really excited for them to open their stuff. So now I'm going to be really happy. 
and I am probably gonna go to another store if I do I'll I'll show you guys what I get there but if I don't I'm probably just gonna go home and then continue this video for tomorrow because it, it is a little bit late it's like probably four almost four probably three three forty and I gotta go home do some stuff and I'll see if I go to another store now, but I'll let you guys know. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys really quick what I've bought so far. And then whenever I do these Christmas boxes, hopefully if I'm done shopping today or tomorrow, I'll show you guys how they look at the end and how I wrap them and stuff. So yeah. So I'm going to show you guys what I've been so obsessed with lately. And I haven't been able to get over that obsession. I know I shouldn't be drinking this, but oh my god, it's so good. These are so, so good. And then they have to be really cold. Like if you buy some, you should. I always give vanilla or caramel. They're really, really good when they're cold. And then I add Cool Whip. I add Cool Whip to it and it's so good. My mouth is watering and just looking at it right now. It's like the best best combination but since it has several calories what i do is i mix it with with um with milk and then that just makes it last longer and also i don't drink as many calories as i would if i was to drink all of it at once so i am gonna make my food it's one about to be to and I'm barely eating breakfast and I know that's really bad but that's just how it goes sometimes I'm gonna make some food and then I'll get back to you guys in just a little bit so it's been a few hours since I last vlogged and I just got back from buying food and I'm gonna show you guys my mess right now don't get scared though so I have all my bags here all my food literally everything on the floor and then just some stuff that I got out of the fridge other stuff that I got out of the fridge and this is what my fridge is looking at looking like right now so it's a little bit messy I know but I'm gonna clean up and then I'm gonna time lapse this so you guys could see me like in full motion but not taking too long doing it so uh, I, I guess I'll get back to you guys in a little bit when I'm done and then I'll show you guys what I did. Um, also, I, I don't know if you guys remember that I showed you guys this coffee that I'm obsessed with. So right now what I'm doing is I added my little straw and then I add the Cool Whip. And it tastes so good. Like I just add like little scoops. It's just that it's a little bit hard to like get it off but it tastes so good. And then I also mix it with um, with almond milk and it makes it a little bit less, I don't know, thick, like a, I don't know. It's just, I, I just add the milk and it, I mean, it lasts longer and it tastes better in my opinion. So
Okay, so there's two kinds of people in this world and I would like to know what kind of people you are. Um, if you can comment, leave it down below and I'll read people's responses. Or message me on Instagram. Um, I'll leave my Instagram right here. But are you this kind of person like to have your dishes like this? Or this person? I personally have to organize my dishes in this manner because that's how I feel organized and also I don't have everything crumbling down when I try to get a plate or something. I don't know if you noticed but I have my spoons here, forks right there which I know I need more, my cups, some plates up down there, um, other plates right there in the middle and then my bowls right here so yeah let me know what person you are So as I'm editing this vlog, I realized that I never really created a natural to it. So thank you so much for watching and let me know on Instagram, message me and let me know if you organize your dishes as you wash them or if you just pile them up and you just leave them like that. Just let me know, I would like to know. And yeah, just message me on Instagram. I actually left it in this video um, somewhere midway um i'll also link it on my description just in case you guys want to know and don't want to scroll through the video but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one